So, you'd like to learn to roller skate? Let's go! I'm assuming that you've already got your roller skates, but if you haven't, have a look at this video because it's the Skatey Buyer's Guide and it'll make things really easy for you. So once you've got your skates, you need to make sure that the wheels roll. And if they don't roll, you need to adjust this nut just to make it a little bit looser, but not so loose that this happens. So you don't want any movement on that axle. And you also need to check your trucks. On a roller skate, trucks are your steering. And if these are really, really tight, you're gonna find it really hard to skate. So you need to make sure you've got some movement in these by adjusting this nut. And the last thing before we actually stand up and get skating is your laces. Always go top down on these hooks. It will make your laces stay nice and tight and it will also mean that hopefully they won't fail as quickly. Let's get skating. So let's stand up. There's no shaming holding on. So I'm gonna hold on to this ledge. So this could be your kitchen counter. Onto my knees. Then I'm gonna put one foot on the wheels, but this next foot, I'm gonna keep on the toe stop here. So this gives me stability. So this one, I've got more weight on here because this isn't going anywhere on this toe stop. And then I'm gonna straighten up but always keep a slight knee bend and then bring this foot into the V position beside the other one. And we're standing. I know at this point all we're doing is just standing up, but this stuff is still a really good idea, especially if you're in your house because you can fall and hit yourself on a number of things like your table or a chair or your kitchen counter. Oh! I think I broke my ankle. Thank you so much, Skatey. So just remember, keep yourself safe. I know it's really tempting at this point once you're standing to just be like, right, let's, let's skate. But a really good idea is to try and find the center of balance and shifting and transferring of your weight stationary. For when you start skating forwards, this is gonna help you so much with keeping your balance and hopefully avoiding too many falls. Let's do a couple of balancing exercises just to get that weight. Now you can still hold on absolutely fine. Standing in our V and just think about going from one side to the other. So I'm transferring all my weight, I'm bending this knee more and all my body weight's going over this foot, coming back to centre, bend this knee more and then lean this side. Body weight goes over this leg, back to centre. This will really help you because skating is all about transferring your body weight from one foot to the other. Now if you're finding you're getting too wobbly doing this, make sure your feet are nice and close in that V. This can be a very small movement at first until you feel more confident. It helps to think of this as knee over toe to get that bend and that weight transfer. So the next balance is it's quite a nice idea to know where that toe stop is. It's there. Each foot we're gonna go onto the toe, like that. Onto the toe stop and bend. Back to center, toe stop, bend. Back to center, toe stop and bend. This just helps you to get used to going up and down onto your toe stop and just finding that balance. All the time you're doing these balance exercises, think that the weight when you're skating needs to be over the ball of your foot. That will stop you from falling backwards. And also try and look forwards if you can. That will really help. Try not to look at your feet. I know it's really tempting, but keeping your head nice and central will help you with your balance. I promise we're gonna start moving in just a second. Before we do, once you start rolling, this is gonna happen because it always does. When you feel those wobbles, resist the natural temptation of doing this. <laughs> what you wanna do is think, right, I'm wobbling. I need to get my weight forward. I need to grab my ankles get my hands on my knees, basically get yourself nice and low because if you do fall and you're already low, it's not got very far to go. Let's practice getting in that position, grabbing your ankles, getting your hands on your knees. Think about getting all of your weight over the ball of your foot. That should push your weight down over this front truck and hopefully stop the wobble to a point where you can straighten up again. But if it doesn't work, at least you're nice and close to the ground. Obviously, not everybody has got a lovely big hall to practice in, but hopefully you've got a long run somewhere in your house that you can use to get moving. So I'm gonna bend my knees, get my arms out, and all I'm gonna do from this V position is start to march, and your wheels will start to roll because that's what they want to do. What I'm doing here is I'm starting off in a march in the V position. But what happens is when your wheels start to roll, you'll need to straighten your feet a little bit more. 
just keep that gentle march and this will get you your first roll. The biggest temptation with this is to think of it as trying to walk, but you're not gonna get anywhere. <laughs> so keep in this V because that means you're pushing from here and that will get you some speed. Then you can straighten up once you start moving, but keep that marching. Think about coming forwards, not backwards like this. We've spoken a lot about moving, but one thing you will very quickly encounter is also the need to stop. So when you're a beginner, there is no shame in using the wall to stop. But I'm gonna show you another technique as well. One thing we can use to stop is the toe stop. After all, it does have stop in the name. However, you need to use the toe stop correctly and safely. So let me show you how not and how to use it. So the temptation is to just put it behind you and drag it along. That feels really horrible and it hurts my toes. So let me show you how to do it properly. When you're gonna use the toe stop, you wanna turn this hip out and keep tension in the legs. So the toe stop doesn't bounce around all over the place. So if I'm marching, I'm gonna apply pressure gently and apply more pressure as I start to slow and that will control it. Make sure your foot's turned out. As stopping is such an important skill to learn, I do have an entire video on that, along with a playlist of loads of beginner moves for you to learn. I'm Katie, you've been watching Skatey, and I'll see you next time. Bye!